All right, in this example, I'm going to be using GIMP to do a basic layout of a um, of a web page. Uh, okay, and so what I'm going to be doing is starting with a new composition. I'm going to say new, and this is where I want to change the the size of. Or I'm going to change the actual layout. I'm going to choose from some templates. 1024 by uh, 768 could be a layout, or 16. 100 by 1200. I'm going to use that as like a basic uh, screen for a computer. And so within this space, I'm going to close some of these panels out because I know I can open them up later on by going up to Windows and Dockable Dialogs and I can bring them back up if I need to use them. The ones I'm going to be concerned with are fonts, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that up already. And I'm going to be using a, a lot of text in this because this is going to be a, a, a this is going to be a, a website. Uh, so one of the things I want to do is I wanted to uh, start with very simple, a very simple, clean website design. Uh, this isn't going to be a lot of uh, a lot of uh, craziness. It's just going to be very simple and clean. So one of the things I want to do is I want to start with a background. Uh, oops, I, I want to start with a new background, and uh, I'm going to call this uh, I'm going to call this um, uh, gradient. Back BKG. I use a lot of uh, back GR, GRND. I, I, do, I use a lot of um, uh, I use a lot of uh, abbreviations just to keep it clear what I'm doing. So what I want to do is I want to I want a subtle white to gray gradient. So what I want to do is over here I can choose what I start with and what I end with. And I'm going to choose here a uh, gray. Uh, uh, this is really I'm not sure why that's. I guess because I'm double clicking on it. I'm going to choose a, I'm going to choose a gray color and I can go up here and I can change the saturation value uh, of that uh, and I want to I want to say okay with that so I should have a light gray color so I'm having a, a, a white to a gray I'm going to go to this tool here which is the blend tool or the color gradient I'm going to click on that and what that allows me to do is click and drag down like so when I do that it gives me a gradient now if I clicked in a different spot uh, you can see that I get a slight touch of gray. Uh, it's white up here and it's gray down here. That's and that's what I want. So I'm going to say like I'm going to just say I like that. Um, one of the things that I want to do is some I want to define some, uh, some boundaries for myself, uh, or I, I want to use a uh, a grid system so that I can lay things out and organize them in a nice organized way. So I'm going to go to view and I'm going to say show uh, guides which are already up and I'm going to say show grid which is going to put some boxes here for me and I'm just going to use these as a guideline for kind of where I'm going to lay stuff out so I can get things uh, laid out a little more accurately and so and just as an example of what I'm going to do I'm going to give myself you know I'm going to start with this, uh, I'm going to go one two three four boxes in and one two three four boxes in so this will be kind of my boundaries and I'm going to go two boxes down and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give myself some lines so I'm going to click and drag up here and I'm going to go one two I'm going to go two down I'm going to draw those in I'm going to go click over here and drag and I'm going to go one two three four boxes in I'm going to go back and click over here and drag one two three four boxes in here and then I'm going to go drag down a few here just to give myself some guidelines. So I'm going to go one box up. So inside of this space here is where I'm going to put my page. So I'm, I'm envisioning and if I have sketches I'm going to be referring to my sketches to lay these things out. So I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, actually I don't need to because I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the text tool. So I'm going to go to my text tool here and I'm going to choose the type that I want. Now, when you, this, these are all fonts that are loaded in my font folder. And so if you have a lot of different fonts, yours won't look like this. If you have a few, you know, you'll all, we all have kind of different ones. And I'm just going to use uh, some very simple ones. You can, and for this example, some that I know that work pretty well uh, and that I have some variety. Now, you want to work with typography. You want to work with type that's related uh, to itself in in some ways. Usually they have different families. So in this eros uh, this eros uh, family, we have bold, 
demi light medium and so what I can do is that I can keep that style consistent but then I can use different variations of it so I'm gonna use to, for contrast a bold and a light so for instance I'm gonna choose uh, uh, Eros bold and I'm gonna choose a size of 20 24 right here a color of actually I'm gonna go with a dark gray a dark gray color uh, so I'm going to take this, not black, but maybe just a, a, a dark gray. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to go up here within my section, and I'm going to drag a box, and I'm going to put in the word digital. All capital, digital. I'm going to make that a lot bigger. I'm going to go to view, and I'm going to add, go to actual 100% so I can see it. I'm going to use the space bar to move the hand tool uh, well, I guess I can't at this particular second, so I'm going to move this over. And I think I just erased it, so I'm going to put in digital again. Here we go. So I'm going to make that bigger, so I'm going to type in 50. So there's digital. Now, if I don't like the spacing of this, if I want them to be closer together, I can move these, uh, uh, move this to push the, the words, uh, the letters together. I can use this to spread them out. And what I'm most concerned with is the spacing in between, say, the D and the I. That looks to be a little bit far, so maybe I'll bring that in together a little bit, maybe just a little bit together. And it, it just needs to it just needs to feel right. This feels a little bit off, even though it looks like it might be. And you want to just tweak these so that the spacings feel good but and that's something you have to that, that, that takes some time all right I'm happy if I was happy with that I'll leave that there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to another text box and I'm gonna draw another one here and this is gonna be uh, a Ross light and I'm gonna choose uh, no I don't want to draw it in the same box I want a separate one and I'm gonna say media M E D I A capitals and I'm gonna select that it didn't change it for me so I'm gonna choose it here so now I have that and I'm gonna choose a different color for it while it's selected and I'm gonna choose a uh, maybe a kind of a warm uh, gray color like this or a warm orange tone like this and maybe a little bit more uh, I'm gonna say alright and I'm gonna move that then up to this section oops I, I realized that I did not make it uh, I did not make it. I'm going to double click on it. Double click over there and then I need to make that 50 as well. 50. And I'm going to again move that into position beside this. Okay. Actually that feels a little bit too thin to me so I might go ahead and go with the demi on that. But that feels a little too maybe a medium. So I'm going to go with the medium. This is a little bit hard to read. And and in the end I may not like the way that looks at all, but I'll and I'll adjust it because again, we're, I'm kind of laying it out. This ain't the final. This is not the final design. I just want to make sure I'm kind of getting the the feel for it. So I'm going to lay. I'm going to uh, So I'm going to say that I that I like that. I'm happy with it. So there's that one and this one I'm going to delete that. I don't need that. So here, I'm going to I'm going to say that I like I'm happy with the way this looks. And uh, so I've got this this my gradient and I can go back here and I can I'm going to make it small. So here's what here's what I have so far. I'm going to hide that gra the grid view sorry, not snap to guy. It's not snap to grid but show grid. So here's what I have. Now I want to put the navigation along this side here. And so I will go in and I will make another one. And with this, uh, I'm going to uh, choose a, a dark gray, that dark gray color again. Uh, I'm going to go back to this dark gray color. I'm happy with that. And I will put in, uh, uh, I don't want that. I want, this is going to be considered my navigation. So I'll, I'll just type in home and then one two three four five six I'll say home and then um, about one two three four five six spaces about 
uh, galleries, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then contacts. So this will give me kind of an idea of, um, give me an idea, I'm going to change the color to a darker, a darker value. I might even make it the same as this. So I'm going to use my, air, my eyedropper and choose that color. Okay. And say okay. Now, uh, if that's the right size, it's about half the size of what that is. So I'm going to go with that and I'm going to move that then about to here. And again, I want to use my grid, view grid, show grid, so I can get these things lined up. So these two things uh, are lined up against the top, and I'm going to get closer to that. I'm using my space bar to move, hold and move things down. Looks like. There we go. <clears throat> so media. I'm going to use my arrow keys to choose that layer and use that to move it down a little bit. I'm going to actually put it on the baseline of the grid there. Media. I'm going to go in here, do the same thing, move it down to the baseline, and move it over. And these guys, uh, these are going to be kind of floating and split the difference in the middle. And they're a little too big for me, so I'm going to double click them. Um, and I'm going to hit my minus key and select all of them. And then I'm just going to scrunch them down a little, maybe to say 20. Uh, and then I'll reposition them again. All right, and now I'm going to choose one of them. Uh, I'm going to double click it. I'm going to choose one, let's say uh, galleries, and I'm going to make it a different color. So maybe this is the color I'm going to use when it's rolled over. Uh, and so uh, what I'm going to do is go here and uh, maybe I'll make it, I could choose the same yellow as that, or maybe I wanted to choose a different color, uh, maybe a blue color just to contrast with it. Something I, I wanted to be visible. I'm going to say OK with that. And, and I'm going to say that I like that. OK? So now I have the basic element here uh, within this shape, uh, or I'm sorry, within this page of a, of a basic layout. So this is what I've got. I'm going to hide that guide. Oh, I keep doing that wrong. I'm going to show grid. I want guides. I want to say show grid. So this is what I have here. Oops, I'm going to undo that move. I'm going to deselect that. So now I have this, this sort of thing. And you can see uh, how this is lay, laying out. OK, so I'm going to then continue on uh, with this area. Now let's say I wanted to change the color within a certain region. Say I wanted to make a header, uh, or I'm going to make a horizontal line that goes across this. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new sol a new layer. Uh, and that layer is going to be called horizontal line. I'll call it one. I'm going to say OK. Now it put it down here underneath everything. I'm going to move it. Uh, uh, no, that's fine. These, the text can be on top of it. Actually, I want to move it above the gradient. Uh, and I'm just going to move it at the top. And this is what I'm going to do with my selection tool. Watch this. I'm going to use this horizontal selection tool. Double click it. I don't want feathered edges. I wanted to have a hard edge, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click and drag from here out this selection. And I want it to just be very thin. And I'm going to go closer so I can actually see it, because it needs to be small. Uh, it just needs to be a little a little line, uh, like so. So I'm going to be moving this around. And I want to grab this and make it pretty thin. Now I'm going to take my fill, the bucket tool, bucket, and I'm going to choose uh, I'm going to choose uh, that dark gray color. could be black. Say OK. And I'm going to go in and click inside that space. And it's going to fill that space all the way across there with that horizontal line. If I back off, you'll be able to see that. And I'm going to deselect Control Shift A. And then I have that line, which I can then move by using my Move tool. I can move that layer, selecting it. Control Shift A, make sure nothing else is selected. And I can move that down and get that positioned the way that I want. So now I have uh, a line that I can then use for other things. So I'm going to actually use it again. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. Now I have horizontal line copy, which is in the same exact spot. And I'm going to move that down to my footer element, down, way down, 
at the bottom and I can use these horizontal